All right, so we're going to first start off with the win. So the how win. do I know it's the right time? To plan your wedding? I mean, your proposal? No. <laughs> how do you know it's the right time to propose? Oh. I think is the question. Oh, I got you. Yes. I mean, I think that that's a personal thing. It's like you guys have to have talked about it. You know, like know that you're on the same same page and your future and, you know, you guys are ready and financially stable and excited to plan a wedding, really. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Don't you agree? Yeah. I mean, you need to. How do you decide? I don't know. I (laughs) I was just like, kind of like, I'm ready. (laughs) Right. Because you're Sammy. Because I'm me. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I think you just have to. I think I think you have to have had conversations around it, though. You know, like and make sure that you guys are on the same page about like the big decisions and like your future and right making sure that your futures are are aligned and yeah you you need to want the same things because yeah. now you're going to become this one unit and you want to make sure that your like, your goal your life goals are aligned so, yeah like, what does it look like when you're 30 40 50 60 and plus like yeah. you need to be thinking about those things and it's obviously going to change as you go and evolve no one really knows what's going to happen but you need to make sure you guys are on the same page and have that um those things are aligned because if one of you is like i want to move back to the suburbs and you know and then raise eight kids and the other one's like i want to travel the world and just be a nomad that's going to be a little bit of conflict yeah it's going to be hard to find a middle ground maybe it's going to be right yeah. right just buy a a, a win, uh, an airstream and just kind of cruise yeah. yeah. Could be a good middle ground. Yeah. <laughs> Park it in the suburbs. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Next to Best Buy. Um, so <laughs> what's the best time of year to propose? Well, holidays are probably the most common time. Um, so like Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's are like Thanksgiving and New Year's is like proposal engagement season. Um, but I think a lot of people do it around trips and vacations. Um I also think it's like if you guys have talked about wanting to get married in the fall, then, you know, you want to make sure you give yourself enough time. Or like if you're like, we want to get married in 2021, you know, you don't want to like wait until the end of 2020 to propose. So like you have to think about the timing of like when you want to be married also. And like if you're like in school or graduating or anything like that, like I feel like that happens a lot where people are like either in college or master's programs you might want to wait until those kinds of things are finished. So right. it kind of depends on like where where you are in life as well and like when you're wanting when you're wanting to get married. Because most people plan an engagement. I would say like average is like anywhere from like eight to what is it, eight to fifteen months is average. Yep. Um so you can do shorter engagements or longer engagements, but those are just things to to think about. Yeah. Um out of curiosity, why do you think <clears throat> why do you think it's the holiday around the holidays? More than any other time of the year, because once you've made the decision to propose, it's not necessarily aligned with, yeah. oh, it's October. Huh. That's true. Um, I think it's because families are together. And a yeah, lot that of people was my wanna, guess, too. A lot of people want to involve families. Yep. Um, so it's an easy way to involve families without like a lot of like suspicion around, like especially if you're trying to do like a surprise proposal. Yep. Um, it's easy to be like, oh, we're getting all the families together for Thanksgiving. Oh, everybody's here. I can yep. propose now. Yep. Um, so I think that that's one of the big reasons. And I think that a lot of people will say like, so like this year, like, oh, I want to get married in 2020. So I want to go ahead and, you know, towards the end of the year, get engaged and then have almost a year to plan. Um, I think that, I don't know. That's yeah. no scientific research behind that. Yeah, that's just, that's my, just, that's just my feel. opinion. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I did it in October um, and it was around family being in town. And that was important. And so you that's also knew point. that I wanted like a fallish yeah, wedding. True. So true. That had a big impact on it too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so when is the best time time? Like when you're going to do it? Let's say hypothetically it's over the holidays. Well, I would say like earlier. So like if you have everybody getting together for like the holidays, then you probably want to do it. You know, maybe everybody gets in Wednesday. Um, you want to do it earlier in the week the rather than later. So that way you have time to like celebrate. And like, or same thing could be said the day of the day that you propose earlier in the day. So you guys have time to celebrate all day, Um, which is like, I think a good thing because like, you're so excited. So like, if you did it at like 10 o'clock at night, I feel like it'd be hard to go to sleep. (laughs) Right. And also to the one proposing, um, 
that day you're going to be a nervous wreck. That's true. I was. Yeah. So the long, the less time you have to act <laughs> like a normal person right. is probably a good thing. That's probably why there's, I feel like I hear a lot of proposals of like first thing when they wake up. That's yeah. probably why they like probably are just like, today's the day. I need to like get this done. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Yeah. <laughs>